At Tokyo Medical and Dental University, we are studying novel imaging techniques for biological science. This presentation introduces Polaris, a powerful technique that will help us understand how cells are built, move, grow, and divide. This new cellular probe was developed in collaboration with scientists from Japan and the United States, including imaging scientists, structural biologists, and the starfish development biologists. Molecular motions are described by the combination of the translational and rotational movements. Conventional fluorescence microscopies can detect locations of fluorescence molecules very accurately. Based on time-lapse imaging data, people believe these images reflect the structural dynamics of fluorescently labeled building blocks inside cells. But what they are recording actually is the ensemble dynamics of translational movement of the molecular locations. To understand the dynamics of cellular structures more precisely, we want to record both location and orientation of each component aligned over time. Our Polaris allows real-time imaging of both locations and orientations at the molecular level in living cells. The video shows the action dynamics in the peripheral region of cultural XTC cells expressing action binding Polaris captured by fluorescent polarization microscopy. Each single bright spot in the left image reflects the location of an action molecule and a yellow bar in the right image shows the orientation of a labeled molecule monitored by Polaris. From the left, you can find the action molecules moving, and from the right, we run the molecular orientations are rather static and correlated with each other, reflecting the existence of higher order structures made on action molecules. The Polaris technology is based on a simple principle. If a molecule of interest is rigidly connected with a fluorescent tag, such as green fluorescent protein, GFP, the polarized fluorescence from the tag reports the orientation of the molecule. We traditionally label a molecule of interest with GFP using a flexible amino acid linker, but this way of labeling will not produce polarized fluorescence. To produce polarized fluorescence, the molecule is labeled with GFP using a rigid amino acid linker. This is a demanding task where we use an antibody-like binder as a scaffold. By linking an antibody-like binder with GFP in a constrained manner, we can label any molecule of interest in a manner suitable for fluorescent polarization imaging. Polaris uses Afima as an antibody-like binder digitally connecting it with the GFP mutant by an alpha helix linker. In this way, it can discern the alignment of any biological molecules of interest and can be used for studying architectural dynamics of molecular assemblies in a broad range of cell cultures, tissues, and whole organisms. As the first example, we present Polaris Arc, which recognizes the function. Fluorescence polarization signals are detected and the direction of effective structures are measured, horizontally polarized in green and vertically polarized in magenta. In previous approaches for monitoring the orientation of protein of interest, researchers had to develop effective constraint GFP tagging methods that might be different for each protein. Because Polaris uses an antibody-like binder that is rigidly connected with GFP, it allows for both specific and versatile constraint labeling. Using Polaris, we have made new biological discoveries. We express Polaris Act in starfish oocytes by messenger RNA injection. The oocytes are inseminated after meiosis was complete, and effecting dynamics during the cell division are observed using fluorescence polarization microscopy. In dividing starfish embryos, we have uncovered transient emergence and dissolution of the strong fluorescence polarization of Polaris Act, observed as the horizontal green vertical magenta cross patterns. This observation implies the appearance and disappearance of actin filaments radially aligned from two centers during the cleavages, which we have named the flare structure. The flare structure 
extends up to the cell cortex in association with the astral microtubules. Astral microtubules are responsible for connecting the spindle to the cell cortex and orientating it correctly, controlling the plane of cell divisions. The mechanism that determines the cell division plane is a key for controlling many aspects of development and yet remains a mystery. The discovery of flare may shed light on one of the most fundamental unanswered questions of cell biology. Several binders other than Afima are available for Polaris and several linker structures are also available for optimizing the linkage between a binder and a fluorescent protein. Furthermore, Polaris can be made using various fluorescent proteins. This expanded repertoire of Polaris enables multi-target fluorescence polarization microscopy imaging, taking advantage of antibody-like binders that can be screened through phage display for any specific target molecules of interest, Polaris will help a broader range of biomedical researchers to use fluorescence polarization techniques with ease. Since polarization is one of the most fundamental properties of light, Polaris is expected to open a new avenue to various fluorescent spectroscopic applications, such as, but not limited to, molecular orientation imaging. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. Bye. Bye.